Right, this is Mark Gale from Bees yeah. Max down at Marlow. And you can see how the queen is just um, running around on the on the comb. She's a bit frantic at the moment because um, it's a new queen that's uh, recently mated about two weeks ago. The hive changed her out of their own accord. It hasn't actually swarmed. They did something called superseding. And um, it's a beekeeper's technical term for basically um, a new queen being produced. She's hatched, mated and then the old queen is disposed of. It's very unceremonial. It's like uh, they serve a function, they lay eggs, and that's what they're there for. It's a bit like the drones, really. They're there to mate the queen, and after that, they're kicked out. Most of the drones have already been kicked out of this hive because this newly mated queen obviously doesn't need them now, um, and nor does the hive. So they're just a waste of space as far as the colony is concerned. All they do is consume food, and uh, lays around and have, and have a good time. But their main purpose is obviously to make the queen, but also not many people realise that they're actually allowed to... Um, I mean, I'd better put her back, really, so um, before she gets damaged. But the, the drones are allowed to migrate between colonies so that you get a variety of genetic material between um, the different uh, hives, because otherwise you'd end up with... Um, New queens, virgin queens mating with their sister's progeny, if you get my drift, because the progeny would have been local drones um, laid by the parents, which is not ideal. So um, by allowing the drones to move between colonies, they um, solve that pro problem. Anyway, so it's looking quite good. It's the 22nd of June. This is a new queen now, and I know because the other one was painted, uh, little red dots on the back of uh, the thorax, and obviously there's no red dot there now. And also I saw the queen cell a couple of weeks ago. So just one in the middle of the cones. And um, what I'm going to do now is give them a good four or five litres of sugar syrup um, infused with garlic as a general medication. And we'll explain a bit more about that later. We'll put that frame back and um, leave well alone. There's absolutely no reason to mess around with this. I'll be back in about two or three weeks. It's Mark Gale, Beesmax, over at Marlow. Colliers.